What's up guys, this is Luke from Android Crate and today I have a review for you of a fully working Android 4.2.1 ROM uh, uh, CyanogenMod Mod 10.1 based for the HTC Sensation. Now previously I had a review for a, 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 an Android 4.2 ROM that was in an early stage and I don't even think it was being developed anymore and that was by uh, Bruce2728. Now uh, a guy called Albino Man uh, 887 from XDA has made a, a ROM kind of uh, continuing uh, Bruce's development on this ROM and he it was, I think it was actually first based on the kernel of Bruce's ROM uh, and now I think there's a new kernel for it and it's actually really really good and you can use this as your daily driver everything's working really Ev like everything is working with the previous ROM like the audio wasn't working the camera wasn't working a lot of key features weren't working which should have prevented you from using it as a daily driver but I've been using this uh, for about I don't know five days now and it's been really really good it's been the best ROM I've ever used uh, without a doubt so anyway let's start with the lock screen I'm sure you're familiar with these features if you if you uh, watch my previous review but uh, you'll get to see a lot more of them so anyway lock screen so uh, a new feature in Android 4.2 in the lock screen is you can actually add widgets and you uh, have a new way of accessing your camera if you noticed uh, from the lock screen you can no longer access your camera or Google now uh, instead to go to your camera all you do is uh, swipe right or left I guess as you would and you enter your camera app like so and if you swipe the other way you and uh, you can add uh, widgets from apps that uh, support them so here you got your calendar your clock digital clock gmail google plus post messaging torch uh, it's pretty cool to have the torch I actually have it handy. Um, let me think. Let's add G. Let's add Google Plus post. Oh God, uh, what's hot? I guess. Uh, let that load up there just to show you how it works. Uh, you can circle it. Yeah, like that. And that brings you to the app. Uh, I, honest, I honestly haven't used these too much, but it actually is a useful feature at times. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the lock screen, guys. Uh, anyway, let's let's go on to the new notification bar. Now, when I showed you the uh, notification bar of the previous round, it actually wasn't working properly because the Wi-Fi and things weren't changing uh, on the actual notification bar. They actually brought you to the settings to change it yourself. So let's use a two-finger swipe to bring it up. There it is. That's my Google Plus profile. Change your brightness. Oh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, that's your Google Plus profile. Like that back change your brightness like you know, it brings up the little meter here where you can change your brightness level um, this you can go to your settings you can turn on and off Wi-Fi see it turns off live whereas in the other one you have to actually go to the settings and change it yourself uh, you can turn that back on it shows your data connection here with the name of your provider it shows your battery percentage which is a huge bonus to be brought into stock Android because that is something that people have been begging to have for a long, long time now. And it's great to have it in stock Android, uh, even though you can actually do it yourself in this custom ROM, have it in there uh, in the status bar. But it's nice to have it there nonetheless. You can put on airplane mode. You can, it has a nice little animation too. When you do, it turns blue. It's really cool. Oh, crap. Anyway, let's go back. You can turn in your Bluetooth. And it's just activating there. And yeah, it's basically that so that's pretty nice anyway you can just tap a little icon to uh, uh, turn it back to the normal notification bar and I presume in a later update that uh, Wi-Fi toggles and so on will be added around here um, so yeah let's go to the settings and see what we're running uh, let's go down go down to about phone as you can see we are running Android 4.2.1 uh, it's a new chronic kernel uh, we, have, we are running CyanogenMod version 10.1 and the build date is Monday, February 4th. So today is February the 5th, so a very recent update. And he actually did two updates for February 4th. Actually, this is the latest one, obviously. I just updated it there. And actually, I, I actually saw um, an update in the uh, ROM page that said you had to, in order to access developer options, now you have to, ta you have to tap on your build number several times and it would allow it to access. I didn't know that. Uh, it's a new feature in Android 4.2, I think. Uh, you just have to tap on it a few times there. It says, congratulations, you're a developer. Now it says, no need, you're already a developer, it's fine. So uh, anyway, let's go back. 
and this is the you know the regular look and feel that you're used to here. Uh, you got your launcher, you can customize anything and everything here. Uh, lock screen again, customize your wi actually yeah you can customize your widgets now from here since there's there's more to customize because there's more functionality on the lock screen now so that's pretty awesome. Uh, themes again, I don't have another one, but you can get them if you want. Uh, system status bar. Uh, all that good stuff that you're used to, you change your AM, PM style, and yeah, that's basically it for the settings, if you want to check out the developer options there, again, customize everything, and absolutely everything, it's just crazy, uh, anyway, a, a, lot, uh, a new feature from Android 4.2, which I'm particularly fond of, is the new camera app, I love this camera app, it's brilliant, anyway, so, let's get a can of Coke here, I will try my best to just showcase this. Okay, this is gonna be awkward, guys. Give me a sec. Okay, you guys. So I've got the camera app up and running now, and as you can see, you can access your settings here by uh, tapping this little icon here. You can change your camera. You can turn flash on and off. I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna keep it off because I got enough lighting here. You can also access these settings by holding it down and kind of uh, swiping across like that. I love that. It's really awesome. Um, I actually really missed it when I was using my old ROM because I had the Android transformation pack installed and uh, it uninstalled when I installed the other ROM. But uh, anyway, yeah, I really, I, it's great to have it back and it really is a great feature of Android 4.2. So let's take a picture of this. I love that focus uh, automation uh, animation too. Let's take a picture. There we go. It's pretty fast too. And if you swipe across, you view your pictures. And if you like this one better than the other one, you pinch, go over the other one, and you just swipe it up. So yeah, that's the camera app, guys. So one thing about this ROM, it's not so much a feature, but just something that I've noticed that is brilliant. It's just the absolute smoothness and just seamlessness of this ROM. It's just been so, so fast. The transition from apps is brilliant. Like... Like, like so smooth, I love that little transition, it just really makes it so much smoother and just the nice little small minimalistic transitions here, they're noticeable but they're not in your face, you know, but the, I don't know, it just makes it so much smoother, it really is a really nice experience you guys, and I really highly recommend that you uh, try it out because it's probably been the best ROM I've ever used, um, yeah, it's just been so, so good and I highly recommend you check it out, thanks again to Albino Man 887 love that name it's a really nice name uh i'll give the link in the description guys to this rom you can go check it out provide some support for uh albino man um maybe you know he's gonna have some more updates in the future he's been updating almost every day now they've been basically nightly updates so uh yeah keep it up man and i hope you enjoy this review sorry if it's a bit on the longer side but i wanted to get an in-depth look and feel just uh see you guys who are a bit hesitant in installing it because i know there are a lot of people hesitant to flashing roms Anyway, you guys, uh, if you like to give it a thumbs up, maybe comment if you have a question, I'll answer any question you want. Uh, check out the ROM, as, again, as I said, subscribe to Android Create TV, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys.